Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, today what I'm going to do is uh, there's a Prowler 500 behind me here and we're going to put a winch on it, plow mount, and plow. I'll show you what we got here. There's the machine 2020 Prowler 500 and what we have is we have the KFI 60 inch plow blade straight that's steel there's the push tube assembly then we also have this is all KFI here is the that's the plow mount bracket that goes on the machine here is the KFI 2500 pound winch now with this winch uh, <clears throat> you get this switch here but I've already cut it because I'm going to use a rocker switch you get this in and out switch and you get the fair lead with it and of course uh, your wiring and your solenoid and this already has I already put the bracket on this is the winch mount bracket right there uh, when you get it in the box you get three pieces <clears throat> you have this little angle bracket here is one piece you have this plate that goes across here with the L, bra L bracket kind of all one piece then you have another flat bracket that goes underneath the winch that uh, holds your fair lead. Uh, I'll show you here in the papers kind of what it looks like. Right there, that's basically the three pieces you get when you order the winch mount kit for the Prowler 500 if you get a KFI winch. So, we're going to get started here. First thing we have to do is i got to get this lower fascia off here so we can get in there and start getting the uh, winch bolted on. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, from what I can see here it's a 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter that hold it on. Those are 10s, 12 in the back. Tens hidden up inside here. There we go. There it is. Off. Okay. Now we got to see how our winch gets up in. Okay, <clears throat> now in the kit, uh, the mounting hardware kit, they give you these two, probably four inch long, uh, got a nut here, bolt. They go, uh, the winch mount sits over top of this frame member, and you see you have two holes here from the factory. Uh, the bolts will slide through and we'll bolt it on. These are lock nuts, that's why I have no lock washers.
Okay, they are 15 millimeter. Okay, well, got the winch on. Now we have to do the mounting plate. <laughs> got to get the mounting plate on here. Now, what you have to do is, let me get this up here. These holes for your fair lead, I don't have this fair lead bolted on yet, it's loose. This has to slide between the fair lead bracket on the winch and the fair lead. This has to go between those two, then you rebolt it up. Okay, so for this plate, I gotta get the bracket. Hardware kit. So I'm going to show you here, basically, what you have to do with this, how it'll look on the machine. You've got to put these long bolts up. These will be on each side of your frame rail, like so. Then you have this, this is threaded. This goes on top of your frame rail and then you will tighten it up and that'll snug it up. And then the front of course is held on by the winch mount up at the fair lead. So go, go ahead and do that. Okay, I got these two bolts in now. Got the plate on here. Uh, I had the camera off a little bit. I just didn't want you to hear me swearing or any profanity whenever I was getting these. It's a little tight. You have to get your nut back in here between the bracket and the winch. That's a little tight. So now I'm going to get the long bolts and the upper bracket on the back here and get those tightened up.
Now these do go, if you see how this is, the pointed side goes toward the center of the machine and these little uh, humps are supposed to go up. Okay, now, after further reading the instructions, like I should have in the first place, you don't drop the skid plate. Uh, you, you mount this up on the, the winch here and you mark the skid plate underneath. Uh, and you can either just drill two holes up through it or bolt it up, drill two holes up through it. I held it up, marked it, and I got the Dremel out and actually uh, oval the holes to match the ones in the skid plate. So either way, but you definitely don't got to take the skid plate off. So now I'm back to, I got to get this mounted back up to the winch here. Then we'll get the uh, other brackets on. One on. Okay, those two are there. Now let's try this. Do this by feel. <sighs> Things are a little, a little gritty at first. See if I can try this again.
Hey, got it started. All right, got one side in. Uh, I'm gonna get this other one on, then I'm gonna get all this stuff tightened up and uh, check in after that. Okay, next thing is everybody's favorite part. Uh, I got the blue, yellow, and the, the blue wire and the yellow wire hooked up to the winch, so now I gotta kinda figure out where I can get them up down through the tunnel along the drive shaft and try to get them into the battery box which is under the driver's seat. So I'm going to go ahead and mess around with that and see if I can get these babies up in there then we'll go from there. I'll show you the uh, this is all bolted up. There's the front and there's the ears for your plow right there where the pin goes in. Yeah, I still need to get the front face on, but I'm not going to do that until I get everything wired up and get the winch ready to roll. So I'm going to see if I can get this wiring up through and get the solenoid mounted. Okay. I got the wiring all distributed. I pulled out this uh, factory little plug in the dash here just like this. Pop that one out. Fish the winch switch wire through. I also uh, pulled this little hood cover off so that I could reach down in here, uh, fish the wire. I also took this piece off, which goes, there's one little, there's just this one little clippy, but it pushes uh, up in the wheel well here. You gotta pull that out. That I, just so I could have room to pull the wire down through and get it to the bottom of the machine and above the skid plate. Now I did have to on the KFI switch the red wire that would go to your uh, key power. It is very short out of the harness, so I did add about a three foot piece on to get it up to the accessory plug that's up here that is uh, powered by the key. Then what I did, you can see underneath, to run it down low, I took the, let's see if you can see it here, this is the skid plate. I took the bolts out of it, I took three of them out, took three of these out of the center skid plate, that way you can yeah, and I took one out of the, uh, this is the front skid plate. That way you can uh, bring your wires right back along above the skid plate and then right up into your, uh, under your seat, into your battery compartment beside the motor. And then, of course, there's your battery. I took the battery out and right there, is the solenoid if you can see it what I did is I just drilled uh, got the drill down and this is big enough to get your drill in held it up pop the holes in they give you uh, nuts and bolts to mount that so I put the bolts through the box put the nuts on the outside there is room the battery won't hit the bolts but I did put a couple pieces of foam uh, with adhesive on the side here just so it wouldn't tend to rub the bolts if it was vibrating in there but I don't that should never be an issue uh, there's plenty of clearance so I'm gonna get the top back on the battery box uh, then I'm gonna move on to getting the switch wired up and see if I can get it to work and then I'll check back in Okay, here's the winch switch. I got this at my local dealer. It was uh, 20 bucks. Now this one has the spring. It springs back automatically. You don't got to press uh, the other side to rock it. It's got the seven prongs. So we're going to 
get this hooked up here, see if I can figure this out and get her going. Okay, now if you have an Articat Prowler 500, uh, they all Kimco is also the same thing but different bodywork. Kimco 450 now in the Prowler 500. I had to do some major cutting on this bumper fascia. This corner and the whole bottom that went across, uh, there used to be a rectangular opening here for the winch. Well, when you have <clears throat> the ears for the plow mount, uh, they don't clear it. So I had to do a lot of cutting right there to get that to fit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this on, and then I'm going to get the plow over here and see if we can get it fitted up. Okay, there's a look at the upper part of the plow mount. You can see there, you got your lower mount work clips in, the winch, and then on these Articats, the winch is so low, uh, the cable will come out, go under a pulley, and then you have to put your hook back up on to there like that then when you're done you pull it off now I'm gonna show you here uh, I cut you have to cut the center of the grill out if you want to keep this on which you almost have to the thing looks like shit without a plus you gotta cut this big ass bottom hunk out of the bottom for the plow mount which I kinda already showed you so I'll stick this thing on here quick and kind of show you what's up. So there you can see with all of my cutting that's what you got right there that's how it sticks out I mean, you, you don't see it, it's not noticeable, it just sucks that you have to do it and you have to cut a hole in your grill. So, uh, I'll get this plow hooked up and everything and show you how it works with the pulley and everything. Okay, everybody. The plow slash winch install is finally complete. If you look inside here, there's the winch switch. Now this is the spring-loaded one that comes off automatically after you press it so you don't got to rock it back and forth. We got that installed. Now, now this is a complete KFI setup. There it is, KFI open trail. It's the KFI winch and here's the mounting plate that this is on the machine with the little ears on it on both sides where your plow attaches so when you put this on of course you start with the winch get the winch on then this plow mount bracket has to go you have to pull your fair lead off it's got to go between the fair lead and the winch mount bracket <clears throat> then you're ready to go now the one thing I want to mention if you order, if you go to your dealer and say I want a KFI winch for a Prowler 500, they're going to give you everything. And if they're not an Articat dealer and they don't install these on people's machines, this does not come, this pulley setup right here that's bolted on, does not come with the kit. It will not come with the plow tubes, it won't come with the plow mount or the winch. You have to know to buy it separate. This is an additional $34 that you have to get for the Prowler 500 because it will not lift. If you just take your hook and you know put it down here on the hooking point where the bracket should be, it will not lift the plow up. You have to run it down, around, and you'll see this is the upper portion of the plow mount which bolts to the upper frame across up here and I'm not sh I can't remember if I showed it in the video earlier 
you have to cut a hole for that to go through your grill and you definitely have to heavily modify the bottom of the bumper fascia this little fascia right here you have to basically cut it straight across so that you can get it to fit because otherwise it won't once you get your plow mount on now I'll uh, I'll turn the key on here and raise this up so you can basically kind of see what it looks like here going up and down with that pulley now you can see that'll go pretty high you can probably get that 12 inches off the ground if you really wanted to Now one other thing I want to show you, with this pulley now, of course, you have to, every time you're done with the plow, if you're taking it off, you have to get your wire off underneath this pulley. Now in the kit, they give you a carriage bolt with uh, a nut on the end of it, which you would have to bolt in and out every time. So what I did is I went to the hardware store and got another carriage bolt and drilled a hole in it so I could pin it with a pin, pull the pin out, and of course just slide my carriage bolt out once you have the tension off of this. And then you can just, when you're ready to put it back on, you push it in, take your pin, push it back on. That way you're not you know, you don't have to have a wrench or a socket or something every time you're done to pull this off. Very nice setup. Open trail, front mount for the Articat Prowler 500. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Get outside and plow.